Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five day per week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 850 of our trek, and time for our three minute mini trek called Wisdom Unplugged. But due to a heavy travel schedule for the next two weeks, I will be diverting from our regular daily topics, and instead, I will be reading through the parables of Jesus. Jesus' parables are seemingly simple and memorable stories, often with imagery, and all convey messages. Scholars have commented that although the parables seem simple, the messages they convey are deep and central to the teachings of Jesus. Christian authors view them not as similitudes which serve the purpose of illustration, but internal analogies in which nature becomes a witness for the spiritual world. Many of Jesus' parables refer to simple everyday things, such as a woman baking bread, a man knocking on the neighbor's door at night, or the aftermath of a roadside mugging. Yet they deal with major religious themes, such as growth of the kingdom of God, the importance of prayer, and the meaning of love. In our Western civilizations, these parables form a prototype for the term parable, and in our modern age, even among those with little knowledge of the Bible, the parables of Jesus remain some of the best-known stories in the world. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Our parable for today is taken from Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 through 43, and it is about wheat, weeds, seeds, and yeast. First is the parable of wheat and weeds. Here's another story Jesus told. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in a field. But that night, as the workers slept, his enemies came and planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. When the crop began to grow and produce grain, the weeds also grew. The farmer's workers went to him and said, Sir, the field where you planted the good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? The enemy has done this, the farmer exclaimed. Should we pull out the weeds? they asked. No, he replied, you uproot the wheat if you do that. Let both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, tie them in bundles, and burn them, and to put the wheat in the barn. Next is the parable of the mustard seed. Here is another illustration Jesus used. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed planted in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but it becomes the largest of garden plants. It grows into a tree, and birds come and make their nest in its branches. Next is the parable of yeast. Jesus also used this illustration. The kingdom of heaven is like the yeast a woman used in making bread. Even though she put in only a little yeast in the three measures of flowers, it permeated every part of the dough. Jesus always used stories and illustrations like this when speaking to the crowds. In fact, he never spoke to them without using parables. This fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet. I will speak to you in parables. I will explain the hidden things since the creation of the world. The next section is the parable of wheat and weeds explained. Then leaving the crowds outside, Jesus went into the house. His disciples said, Please explain to us the story of the weeds in the field. Then Jesus replied, The Son of Man is the farmer who plants the good seed. The field is the world. The good seed represents the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people who belong to the evil one. The enemy who planted the weeds among the wheat is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the harvesters are the angels. Just as the weeds are sorted out and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the world. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will remove from his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. And the angels will throw them into a fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the Father's kingdom. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Well, that's the end of our parables for today. On tomorrow's trek, we will continue with some more of the parables of Jesus. Thank you for joining me on this trek that we call life. Encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to and the past 849 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. I encourage you to subscribe to Apple Podcasts or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, 
Learn continuously. Lend to others generously. Lead with integrity. And then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey. And then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Wisdom Wednesday.